was a crisp January morning. The year was 1986. Millions of Americans, their hearts filled with pride and anticipation, gathered around their televisions. They were about to witness history, the launch of the Space Shuttle Challenger. Little did they know they were about to witness a tragedy, a tragedy broadcast live, forever seared into the nation's memory. The iconic image of the Space Shuttle, a symbol of American ingenuity and ambition, climbing skyward would soon be replaced by a horrifying spectacle. Plumes of smoke and fire, a disintegrating vessel, a nation united in shock and grief. The Challenger disaster was not just a failure of technology, but a stark reminder of the unforgiving nature of space exploration. The disaster transcended the realm of science and engineering. It became a deeply personal loss for millions who had dared to dream of reaching for the stars. The seven astronauts aboard, ordinary individuals who had achieved the extraordinary, became symbols of courage and sacrifice, their lives tragically cut short in pursuit of knowledge and exploration. Since the dawn of humanity, we have gazed up at the stars, our curiosity ignited by the vast unknown that lies beyond our world. The night sky, with its twinkling stars and distant galaxies, has always been a source of wonder and inspiration. It has driven us to dream, to imagine what lies beyond, and to seek answers to the questions that have puzzled us for centuries. Space exploration embodies this fundamental human desire to push boundaries, to explore the cosmos, and to unravel the mysteries of the universe. It represents our collective ambition to go beyond the confines of our planet, to venture into the unknown, and to expand our understanding of the cosmos. Each mission, each launch, is a step forward in our quest to unlock the secrets of the universe. It is a testament to our collective ingenuity, our relentless pursuit of knowledge. The International Space Station, a marvel of modern engineering, stands as a symbol of what we can achieve when we work together. Astronauts aboard the ISS conduct experiments that push the boundaries of science, contributing to advancements that benefit all of humanity. Yet the quest to explore space is not without its inherent risks. The journey to the stars is fraught with challenges and dangers. From the moment a rocket ignites, the stakes are high. The training that astronauts undergo is rigorous, preparing them for the harsh realities of space travel. It demands unwavering precision, meticulous engineering, and a profound respect for the unforgiving environment that awaits us beyond Earth's protective atmosphere. Every spacewalk, every maneuver, requires careful planning and execution. The vacuum of space is a hostile environment where even the smallest mistake can have catastrophic consequences. The Challenger disaster serves as a stark reminder of the fragile nature of human ambition when venturing into this unforgiving frontier. The tragic loss of the Challenger crew in 1986 was a sobering moment for the world, highlighting the inherent dangers of space exploration. It underscored the need for vigilance, safety, and continuous improvement in our quest to explore the cosmos. For every successful mission, for every milestone achieved, there is an underlying awareness of the potential for catastrophe. The joy of a successful mission is always tempered by the knowledge of the risks involved. Engineers and scientists work tirelessly behind the scenes, ensuring that every detail is accounted for, every contingency planned. It is a risk that we, as a society, accept in the name of progress, driven by the belief that the rewards of exploring the cosmos outweigh the dangers that await us. The return of a spacecraft to Earth is a moment of triumph, a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. It is a reminder that, despite the risks, the pursuit of knowledge and discovery is a noble endeavor. But the Challenger disaster forced us to confront the human cost of this pursuit reminding us that the journey to the stars is paved with both triumph and tragedy. The memorials and tributes to those who have lost their lives in the pursuit of space exploration serve as a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made. They remind us that while the journey to the stars is fraught with peril, it is also filled with promise. And it is a journey that we must continue with caution, respect and unwavering determination. At the heart of the Challenger disaster lay a seemingly small yet tragically critical component, the O-rings. These unassuming rubber seals were tasked with a monumental responsibility. 
These rubber seals, responsible for preventing hot gases from escaping during the shuttle's launch, became the Achilles' heel of this ambitious mission. The O-rings were designed to expand and seal the joints between the segments of the solid rocket boosters, ensuring that no hot gases could escape and cause damage. In the unforgiving environment of space travel, even the smallest flaw can have catastrophic consequences. The Challenger disaster is a stark reminder of how critical every component is in the complex machinery of a space shuttle. The O-rings designed to expand and seal gaps in the solid rocket boosters were susceptible to failure at low temperatures. This vulnerability was a known issue, but the full extent of the risk it posed was not fully appreciated until it was too late. On that fateful January morning, the temperature at Cape Canaveral dipped to a record low, far below the recommended operating range for the O-rings. The cold weather was an unusual occurrence for the region and it created a perfect storm of conditions that would lead to disaster. The cold hardened the rubber, compromising its ability to seal properly. When the rubber is too cold, it loses its flexibility and cannot expand to fill the gaps as it is supposed to. This meant that the O-rings could not perform their critical function. This design flaw, known to engineers but downplayed in the face of mounting pressure to launch, would prove fatal. The engineers were aware of the O-ring's susceptibility to cold, but the decision to proceed with the launch was influenced by a complex web of factors, including schedule pressures and the desire to maintain the shuttle program's momentum. As the shuttle roared off the launch pad, the compromised O-rings failed to contain the hot gases, allowing them to escape and ignite the fuel tank, leading to the catastrophic explosion that unfolded before the eyes of the world. The sight of the shuttle breaking apart in the sky was a devastating moment for everyone watching, and it marked a turning point in the history of space exploration. The Challenger disaster became a tragic testament to the importance of meticulous engineering and the unforgiving nature of even the smallest design flaw. It underscored the need for rigorous testing, thorough understanding of all potential risks, and the courage to make difficult decisions in the face of uncertainty. The lessons learned from this tragedy have shaped the way space missions are conducted, emphasizing the critical importance of safety and reliability in every aspect of space travel. Section 4. The Cold Hand of Fate. How Temperature Impacted Destiny. The frigid temperatures on that fateful January morning played a pivotal role in the Challenger disaster, exacerbating the existing flaws in the O-ring design and setting in motion a chain of events that would have devastating consequences. The morning of January 28, 1986 was colder than usual at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, with temperatures dropping to an unprecedented low for a shuttle launch. The unusually cold weather, far below the recommended operating range for the shuttle, transformed a known design vulnerability into a fatal flaw. Engineers had long been aware of the O-ring's sensitivity to temperature, but the extent of the risk had never been fully tested under such extreme conditions. As the temperature plummeted, the rubber O-rings designed to expand and seal gaps in the solid rocket boosters lost their elasticity. These O-rings were crucial components intended to prevent hot gases from escaping and causing catastrophic failure. They became stiff and inflexible, unable to perform their critical function. The cold had rendered them brittle and their inability to expand properly allowed hot gases to leak through the joints of the solid rocket boosters. The cold had turned a seemingly minor engineering concern into a ticking time bomb. Engineers had expressed their worries about the potential impact of the cold on the O-rings, but their warnings were not heeded with the urgency they deserved. Despite concerns raised by engineers about the potential impact of the cold on the O-rings, the launch proceeded as planned. The decision to go ahead was influenced by a complex mix of factors, including political pressure, public expectations, and the desire to maintain the shuttle program schedule. The pressure to maintain the ambitious launch schedule, coupled with a failure to fully appreciate the severity of the temperature's impact, ultimately sealed Challenger's fate. The decision makers underestimated the risk, prioritizing the schedule over safety. The disaster serves as a chilling reminder of how nature's unpredictable forces can expose even the slightest technological vulnerabilities. 
with tragic consequences. It underscores the importance of rigorous testing and the need to respect the limits imposed by natural conditions, no matter how advanced our technology may be. Section 5. The Race Against Time Pressure, Politics and the Urge to Launch in the aftermath of the Challenger disaster, investigations revealed a complex interplay of factors that contributed to the tragedy, including intense pressure to maintain the ambitious launch schedule. The shuttle program, once a symbol of national pride and technological prowess, had become burdened by delays and budgetary constraints. There was immense political pressure to showcase the shuttle's capabilities and to maintain public support for the expensive program. This pressure created an environment where concerns about safety and potential risks were often overshadowed by the desire to meet deadlines and achieve milestones. The Challenger launch, initially scheduled for December 1985, had already been postponed multiple times due to technical issues and weather delays. Each delay brought with it mounting pressure to get the mission off the ground. This relentless pursuit of schedule adherence Coupled with a failure to adequately address the known risks associated with the O-ring design, created a perfect storm for disaster.